Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you what the hammer on technique is on guitar. Uh, and you can do this both on electric guitar and acoustic or classical guitar. It's actually where you hammer down your string with your left hand without strumming the strings. Often when you see guitar players play really fast, they probably make use of this technique. And probably also in combination with the technique that I'm going to show you next week, which is the plucking of the string that you just hammered on as well. But that's for next week. The hammering of the strings is what you do with the fingers on your left hand. And the harder you can hammer down, the more sound you will produce, of course. Now, there are differences in power that you can give with certain fingers, like my index and middle finger probably have a lot more strength in them to hammer down a lot harder than my pinky does, for example. So probably I will be able to get more volume when I hammer down my index or ring finger in comparison to using my pinky finger for that, let's say. Now, there's also a difference. We can hammer down without strumming the string whatsoever. So if, for example, I hammer down my middle finger on the third fret of the first string, let's say, without playing anything, I can try this like this. Yeah, I have some sound. Now, most of the time we are not going to start off this technique without strumming the strings whatsoever. It is possible, like I showed you, but most of the time it's in combination with other techniques and strumming the strings with your right hand. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna strum the first string with my right hand and then I'm gonna hammer down, which will give me a lot more volume as well. So, let's try that. So I'm first going to strum the first string and then I'm going to hammer down with my middle finger. Right, in comparison to not playing the string beforehand, which sounds like this. Or... There is the difference in volume. You have a little bit of momentum as well there. There are different situations in which you can use this, but most of the time this will be used in uh, solos or you can use it sometimes in switching chords as well, but not that often as it will be used as in solo or improv or in classical guitar, maybe fingerstyle. As you could see in Ali Bata, for example, he uses this technique quite often as well. It's pretty basic as well, uh, but you can use it in very advanced solos and improv uh, pieces as well. So a great exercise to do, and you have many different options, of course, but that's something that I just give with you, and it's what I played in the intro, is where you strum every string on your guitar, and also with every string, you hammer down every finger on the next fret. And because we have four fingers here to use, technically you could use your thumb as well, but for beginners, let's just keep it with the four other fingers. And you might know or not know, but in between most of our strings, there's a five fret difference in tone. And because we have four fingers, we can go exactly half a tone on each string and go down the whole octave until we reach the top, let's say. The only exception here is from the G to the B string, the third to the second string. There's only a difference of four half notes. So starting with the upper string, we can go like this. Then play the fifth string. Then the fourth. Then the third, in which I'm only going to use my index, middle and ring finger. And then go over to the B string and then to the E string. Right? Also, a quick reminder, guys, like we always do with our left hand, when we press the strings, it's always just before the fret. Not on the fret, not too far from it, or not too far in front of it, just before, just in front of the fret. So, like, with hammering down, try to do that as well. Of course, this asks for some practice, because we hammered down, so we have to give some force to that which is harder to get precise and very accurate. But like with everything, it gets better with practice, right? So that's basically it when it comes to the hammer-on technique on guitar. And you can get pretty advanced with this, but definitely check out next week's video if it's out, because that technique will quite often be used in combination with the hammer-on technique. 
all right so guys i hope you learned something again today don't forget to subscribe like and share the video also don't forget to check out my other tutorial videos i have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out so thank you very much and see you guys next time bye Probably also in combination with the technique that I'm gonna, which is the pluck, which is the plucking. The hammering of the strings is what you do with your. Now, of course, it's. So if I, so if for example I hammer down my, uh, on the third fret of the second. And strumming the chord, there are this, that man, and because you, and you use. Let's just keep it with the four, then go into over. So that's basically it when it comes to hammer down. So that's basically it when it comes to hammering down. So that's basically it when it comes to hammering. Hammer time. Go with the like we, uh, because we're, but that, because that technique will be quite. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorial videos. I have out.